Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the uh, end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've already shuffled the deck and uh, cut it. Cut it. Sorry for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading, Aries. All right. Let's see what's going on in regards to your love and romance. Now, your first card here, you have release your ex. So for some of you guys, or the majority, you may be experiencing um, a lot of coming back or coming forth and moving back, going back and forth uh, with an ex. Uh, you may still be dealing with an ex, or perhaps some of you guys may be connected if there is children involved. Uh, but what they're saying is the time has come to clear your energy. A lot of the times, uh, we can actually convince ourselves that we've moved on. Uh, that we're no longer invested or emotionally invested in our exes, our partners from the past. Um, but a lot of the time, uh, there is still some type of emotional connection, uh, whether it be on a subconscious level or whether it be the fact that uh, we hold a lot of the lessons that were taught or learned throughout our time with our ex-partners or people that we've been with in partnerships in the past. Um, and instead of embracing what was the lesson here, a lot of the times it could taint us. So I feel that for some of you guys, uh, there is a lot of releasing that's happening right now. Uh, for some of you guys, you may actually be uh, coming into the understanding that uh, a lot of the attributes or a lot of your characteristics or ideals when it comes to partnerships could be linked to past experiences. Uh, so this is uh, evolving energy is what they're telling me. So that may signify that it's either coming up to surface. For some of you guys, it's just acknowledging it. For others of you, it's still trying to heal through that process. Okay. Now your next card here is the calling in your soulmate and soulmate. Wow. Okay. Um, so again, here, here's the thing for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, and perhaps you've gone from one partnership to another and it doesn't really seem like it pans out. What they're telling you here is that you need to be patient, patient in the sense of respecting or loving yourself enough not to be quick or hasty into uh, getting into a relationship either because you're feeling lonely or because there is some type of void that you're trying to fill. And acknowledging, again, not just the exes, but past behaviors uh, are pretty much, it's something that is evolving, something that is currently happening to you guys. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you've tried relationships and it just hasn't worked out because they don't either keep your attention uh, in the sense of you grow tired of it or you grow bored of the relationship. For others of you, it could just symbolize that. Uh, you are you constantly find yourself going back to an ex or if you're in a partnership or in a relationship on a deeper level um, you feel unfulfilled and the reason for that is because spirit is telling you it's no coincidence you're coming into your true nature or understanding what your true nature is or what your desires are uh, and the reasoning behind this is because for some of you guys, your soul may, may be either present, whether you're aware of it or not, um, or around or coming near you. Uh, so again, calling in your soul meet, your prayers, affirmation and visualizations help bring you together. I feel that for some of you guys, you may already be around or have a connection with a soul meet. Um, now, when I say have a connection, for some of you guys, it could be a friendship that turns into a relationship. For others of you, it could be that you just have seen this person uh, as a friend or someone that you admire or you respect, but you've never really thought of them uh, in a loving or in a sexual way. And going into the end of February, the beginning of March, I see this flourishing. So I see for a lot of you guys, it could be uh, that you perhaps don't even know that a friend of yours or someone near you or that you know them or is in your inner circle of friends may actually be very interested in you. And I feel that uh, what they're telling me is that 
time is uh, very important at the present time. So again, if you feel that you've been experiencing like a deeper feeling of wanting to find something in a partner, but you just can't explain what it is, it's because you're magnetically being pulled towards uh, a, a soulmate or being pulled towards um, the individual that will be able to not only uh, give you exactly uh, that emotional bond that you're looking for. Because I see a lot of you guys um, like going about relationships without really it's almost like you get into getting to know someone phase and then for some reason either you lose interest or you just don't feel that connection and you're on to the next um so again i feel that the reason behind that is because you still are coming into your own or understanding that there is something in your soul uh that is looking for something or searching for someone but you don't know exactly what it is that you're looking for in a partnership so again i think a lot of you guys are actually going to be meeting your soulmate um, this year, definitely. And I do see that a lot of you guys will come uh, or this relationship will flourish uh, around, I want to say around uh, March, possibly for some of you guys, depending on your time frame of birth. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be the uh, March or for others, it could be in April. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, for some of you guys, this could even go into uh, April, going into uh, the warmer months. Uh, so again, like I said, um, I do see I do see a lot of you guys really craving that deep emotional connection, but you just can't either explain it or you can't understand what it is that you're in search of. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, uh, if you guys have been dealing with uh, you know, really, you know, your partner being everything you've ever wanted or really, um, you know, they just get you, even though sometimes you don't get yourself, Aries. Um, I feel that this is a soulmate connection. Uh, but I think that a lot of the, I guess what you, what they would say, um, the reason why you can't wholeheartedly open yourself or even become vulnerable to your soulmate could have to do because there's still connections to an ex or there's some type of link still connected there so again there is um a bit of fear for some of you guys for others of you it could be that uh you are you know in a committed relationship and you do know or understand at some level uh that this person may be a soulmate but again there is attachment or there is, um, it's affecting that relationship in the present because there is some, t some type of X that is involved and it could represent for some of you guys as well, uh, that the X is like meddling in your relationships. Uh, if that's currently what you're going through, um, understand that communication is key. Communication is very important in any partnership. And I think the more transparent you are, uh, when it comes to your partner, whether it's insecurities like you not want wanting them to come around their exes or like if they have children involved, you don't want them to like go into their home as an example when they pick up the kids uh, because there is something in you that you're just working through some type of insecurity. It's better to be upfront and to tell or let your partner know and understand this. Again, communication is key. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Now on to the next one.